is the story of a young painter and how the beauty of the golden continent that is Africa inspires her life. The story of Art of Ethel begins. Hi, my name is Ethel Tai and I'm from Cameroon and I'm an aspiring artist. I'm currently here in London, I'm studying at the Regents University and human rights major. I mostly use paint, acrylic paint specific, and um, I enjoy working with it because it dries quickly. I could work over it and it could erase, you can use it in different ways and I could water it down, use it like watercolor. So it's definitely my favorite medium. I've tried out different things, but I feel most comfortable with acrylic paint. I've been painting since since I can remember, since I was a little girl. I always loved trying painting, like anything I could find, colorful things back home in Cameroon where I grew up. Cameroon's influenced me as my culture as an African. We're very loud, vibrant people. And you can kind of see that through my paintings. I like portraying women in very proud and colorful ways because I feel like that's a big part of my culture as a Cameroonian and even living in Tanzania and Kenya as well has brought a lot to my art. I found myself more drawn to paint women because I feel like we have a great role on the continent and although like in the West it might seem like we're you, know, you might think oh Africans you probably think oppressed women or dominant male roles, but um, I think it's, it's the motherland where we have a strong role and also it's just way more enjoyable to me but painting women with their more like, fabulous outfits and colors. To be honest, I don't know much about the olden African art. I know much about how the West has taken from us and I know artists like Picasso and all of them use a lot of our works, like our ancient mask and African paintings to work off what they have now. It's almost like stolen from Africa. But I think the least they can do is acknowledge that this is, this is African and we are capable of it because there's this mentality you think that Africa is so backwards. We have such a strong culture and fashion and which they need to start giving credit to and recognizing still. Um, I definitely think African style has, has become very fashionable. Famous artists now just dressing and especially black artists, um, musicians specifically, getting more in touch with their roots, let's say in America, for example, um, black women growing out their afros now and just accepting it as well as the Africans now who've moved. Before there was this, um, a bit, they were a bit shy, I could say, some people maybe about their culture, they didn't fully accept it. But now people are coming out and saying, we are African, like, or we, we're from Africa and we're beautiful and this is, this is us. And I think now this, this has been a shift, so it's a, it's a good direction and it's a strong movement and I think it's going in a good, going to a good place. Um, so people are doing this in different ways. Like you see art or music and just all forms of art and people are accepting it now. And it's really nice to see. I started painting when I was a little girl in Africa, in Cameroon specifically, but in Tanzania as well and in Kenya. Uh, I was always into art in high school and middle school, but um, when I first started taking it seriously was probably two, two, three summers ago in Tanzania. Um, I did about 15 paintings and I just did them for fun really, like summertime, like it's the sun and just so much inspiration being home after so long. People got interested in it and started asking me like, oh, could you do something for my son or for my daughter? And I'm like, oh yeah, of course. Like, soccer, balls and stuff, like whatever. And, um, but 
people started wanting to pay for it and I was like, oh, take it free, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> but um, yeah, so my mom encouraged me as well and I sold a couple pieces that summer and that's when I realized that maybe there is a future for me in this and maybe I should pursue something if people are very interested in this. So. For this I Speak Africa, for example, I'm just promoting people mostly from Africa and of my culture and um, just giving them a voice through art because I feel like art has a very powerful voice and people can relate to work and can get a message from art in a different way from if you go, for example, like to a speech or read an essay. Having art incorporated with my human rights has been an interesting thing for me. Most people find it odd when I say I do both, but I'm still trying to find my my way of interpreting that. And speaking African is um, giving a voice to people like of Africa and around the world, giving them the voice to speak out for their own culture and teaching people and letting people know that we are not the image they have of us and they need to come together and understand that we that we are a big we are on this continent and recognize us first of all and most people don't even know where africa is or a country or anything or or ask you oh do you speak african that's not a language but um this painting to me it's just frustration and screaming out that people are tired of having that negative image and that they should just really get together and think alike and have a put their minds together and change that stigma of Africa basically. European contemporary art, maybe people who are from here, well I definitely appreciate it and it looks looks really nice and it's enjoyable but maybe people from here have a different connection to it than I do. Sometimes I simply don't don't even understand some of it because it's just I just don't understand. <laughs> but um <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely there's quite a few obviously great artists and I can't I'd be lying if I said they weren't like amazing, but it's maybe it's just not it's not me it's not who I am so it's it's a different view for me African art is just not as out there as European Western art in general so it's there's a lot of great things especially in the continent I think there's a lot and lot of really great artists in Africa but goes unnoticed because well they're in Africa so people don't bother going to the continent and actually going and finding these people and taking out their art and showing the world because I know and I've seen especially in Tanzania and Kenya I've seen amazing artists just on the streets and everywhere you walk around you see art just on the even street art and um people selling little pieces on the, the side of the road really beautiful pieces that I think deserve to be in huge galleries like the Tate well, most of my artwork, the African art specifically, is just to show people that Africa isn't what they think it is sometimes here, but um, just to show people the beauty of Africa and to show them that there's women, like beautiful women with nice flamboyant outfits and colorful things like I personally think is beautiful and most people should, I think, but... <laughs> But um, yeah, just to show people that side of Africa, that it's not just starving, poverty, and all what the media likes to show them. Because um, I feel like the media focuses so much on that, showing the negative sides, and people need to start seeing the positive sides of Africa, like the beauty. And that's what most of my art is aiming at. Yeah. My art is, is not just for Africans, it's for everyone to enjoy. And hopefully one day it gets somewhere Far. We're not all just one people as African. We are together as one, but there's so much diversity in Africa. And I want people to know that we represent 
unity, even though it may not seem like it sometimes with all the poverty and war and crime that is shown of Africa, there's this special, there's this special feeling of community there that is different from anywhere else. And I want people to know that that really exists in Africa. My name is Ethel Tawe and painting is how I speak African, the end.